Hey guys, um, you're here with Denitra, and I have um, a flower tutorial that I want to share with you. Um, like I said, I hope you guys are not getting tired of them, but um, I, what I do, I just try to recreate the flowers that I see from Wild Ricket Crafts or I Am Roses or even some of the Prima ones, but so of course you know that, that that's a lot of flowers. So as I recreate them and when I get, you know, a flower or a way that looks as close to the um, you know, popular ones, then I'll do a video on it. So, uh, this one is going to be on the, um, the big puffy Christmas gardenias from I Am Roses, and they're really, really pretty. Um, so, I've already done, you know, work on my petals. As you can see, they're super wrinkly and all that. I used Pure Poppy, Paper Tray Ink cardstock. Paper Tray Ink cardstock is the best cardstock to use for these flowers because it's durable and nine times out of ten they won't rip or tear when you're scrunching them or whatever so this is using the flower shop cricket cartridge and I used um, three of these flowers right here and I cut them out at two and three-fourths on the cricket and they're all the same size and then for the center I would normally use this the, the stamen um, exactly like they use um, as the I am roses ones but I don't have any more so I'm going to use this one, two, three, four, five, six, the seventh flower on the top roll from the Flower Shop Cricut cartridge. And it looks, um, it looks like this. And then I cut this, this is small, but I cut it out at one and three fourths inch. But you could cut it out any size. This is a bigger one. <coughs> I think I cut this one out at two inches. I'm going to glue this one together because I'm going to see which one looks better in the center. Whether it's, you know, the big one or the small one. Okay, so I just glue that. Okay. So with the petals, I've already scrunched them. All I did, you guys, um, since this petal... This flower here has the pointier petals. I just took my scissors and I rounded off the points. And this is what all these little bits are. Okay, so now the petals are rounded. And then I just crumpled them. Okay, so um, now I'm going to stagger them. You know, just kind of offset my petals. Do the same thing for the last one. Remember, these are all the same size. I mean, if you wanted to do um, a top layer smaller, you could totally do that and just get a different look. Okay, so this is what this looks like. And now I'm just going to crunch. Okay. Um, now you can twist and, and turn them. You don't even need that. You can just use your hands with this big flower super big okay. okay you could add another layer as well these flowers are totally just customizable if you want to add later take a later make it bigger make it smaller um you you just need the petal shape basically or the number of you know petals on the flower so um i'm going to try to see what this little one looks like i don't think i like that one at all and here's the bigger one. Yeah, I think I would like stamen better, but for now, since I don't have any more, we're just going to do it like this. And there it is. Okay. Okay, the baby's getting upset, so that's it. <laughs> this was super quick, but you can totally make that flower, you guys. So, thanks for watching. Bye.